Hello, my name is Frankie Corbett. I'm the owner of Corbett and Stern Welding and Custom Fabrication. We are located here in Pikeville, North Carolina. What I've got here is a piece of equipment I designed called Temple Lift. Alright, what this Temple Lift does, it helps you take big wheels, small wheels from a 38 inch, 38 inch rim to a 54 inch rim off a tractor, combine, spreader truck, high boys. Uh, we're going to show you, if you happen to, to get one of this special equipment, we're going to give you a description on how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, you can use a fork lift, a front end loader, bobcat, anything that's got forks that will come through that hole down at the bottom. And we've got a stop here in front. So right, right, when you run your fork through, you got to stop so you don't have to worry about punching the hole in your tire when you get ready to get hold of the tire. Now what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how to, set, how to use this thing. When you get ready to go up under the wheel, you want to hold this part here. It's about 8, 10 inches off of the ground. And the reason why is so that way when you take the tire off of the tractor and set it on the, what we got called storage rack. We also got them called wall mount that boats onto the wall. That way you can pop your wheel at. You want about 8 to 10 inches current so that way when you set that wheel on it, you have enough room to back out and under. Now, what we got here is rolling. You got two here, you got two on this side here. And your wheel sits here, and you be able to roll them. You can adjust it by moving this in and out with the width of your wheel, but then also you can be able to adjust this in. You can be able to adjust this in and out for the different size of your wheel. Now, when you drive up under your wheel, where you got about eight to ten inches of current, you want it where your wheel, the roller will just barely touch the center of the tire. You want the center of the tire to be riding in the center of the roller. Now, what we got here, what they call V rollers. That puts the center in them because your wheels and most of your tires are rounded. So it'll ride right on the V roller in this roller here. Once you get this part here stepped, then you come up here. What this part does is uh, what we got here, you got a little room here where you can walk on it so you don't have to worry about falling through. You can unlock this light. You roll this over, then you can slide it over for unlock it. Then the wheel that you got is sitting between these two rollers here. And you want to move up past you about two inches of the current from here to the top of the tire. So that way, when you get ready to take it off, you won't have to worry about it falling off. Also, too, when you hook to the tire and get ready to put the tire on it, now what we got here is it makes the job a lot safer. When you get ready to put the wheel on, you can be able to rotate that tire in different rotations. So when you go up to your boat hole, if your boat hole don't line up, you can rotate that tire without using any other kind of tool. I know some farmers like to use power balls, pipes. This, you don't use nothing except this uh, roll equipment. When you get your holes lined up, if you got a foot lift, you can just drop right up to it, and once the boat's on, you can put your nuts and stuff on it. When you get them all on, all you have to do is come right here, flip this, flip this, slide it back, and lock it. I don't want to want it. Then you can lock it back. And then you can let it down and come out and under it. Now, this, it's a lot safer, very easy to use once you get used to it. And now what we got here, we've got some videos that we have already recorded using this equipment. 
So if we leave them here, step over and watch the video that we've got made. And we hope that you can be able to enjoy the video and understand how this works. And we hope that you'll be willing to buy one. Y'all have a great and blessed day. Thank you.